Yes. Welcome to an edition of the Solos Post. My name is Rob. Hi, guys. My name is Joel. And today we will be having a lot of content talking about everything in all Star Wars and introducing ourselves as well. Joel, take it away. So um, as you guys know, there's a lot of new content that our channel will be talking about. Um, we will be talking about the High Republic um, and a lot of what's going on in those novels. Um, I have been reading those, so those have been awesome. Um, Rob, have you uh, caught up on some of that lately? Unfortunately not, man. Honestly, with everything going on, since we are a new YouTube channel, I've just been doing so much content for our channel and just basically creating our outros, our intros and everything just so our page could actually look cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. Uh, we're, we're, really, we're really looking forward to uh, talking with you guys and, you know, reading your comments down there and uh, seeing how, you know, we can incorporate different things, uh, whether they're Funko Pops that come out and we give reviews on that or uh, movies and different novel contents as well. Um, so we hope that you guys enjoy our channel. Um, and right now we just want to kind of give a little snippet of who we are and what brought us to this and what we have today. Uh, Rob, take it away, man. Yeah, so um, we'll be talking about ourselves and kind of like touching on what Joel said, just kind of going back and forth on the um, what we liked and what really brought us to Star Wars and brought us to why we're here today. So I guess I'll uh, I'll lead it off. Um, so Joel, what made you get into Star Wars? What brought you into the Star Wars fandom as a kid? I wish I wish I can say like I found it on my own, but I didn't. Um, the force uh, wasn't strong at that yeah, point. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, I might be a little bit of a poser, um, but uh, yeah, it happens. It yeah. happens, man. We all, we yeah. all, we all, we all kind of melt and gel in as we get older. So we find ourselves. I think it was. Uh, I was pretty young. Uh, my 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 oldest brother, uh, his name is Geraldo. He actually introduced me to Star Wars. He introduced me to Vader. Um, he introduced <laughs> me to Vader. all of that. Yeah, um, and it was pretty cool. I mean. I, I think I got really got into Star Wars, um, surprisingly, uh, the prequels. Um, I know a lot of a lot of people don't really like that that era, um, just because of how it looks and and how it's uh, uh, directed at that point. But personally speaking, I, I personally like the storylines, and I like the way you know how they incorporate um, the emotion into the film. So that was a lot. That was really where I got. That's into what makes it. it an original, man. That's what yeah, makes yeah, it an original. For sure, and, bro. And makes it unique, very unique. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, so yeah. So um, what brought you? What brought you into the Star Wars universe? So kind of touching on how how your brother for me it was actually my father, man. It all goes back to when I was a kid. When this is we're talking about when Laserdisc was a thing, like Laserdisc, <laughs> those big things that look like frisbees that you could like literally chuck at somebody and then it comes back to you. Yeah, no, it didn't come back. I tried that. Yeah, it just broke. But no, I remember my father watching it on Laserdisc, and I'll never forget. It was The Empire Strikes Back. That was the one that just, it, it literally opened the gates for me. And from there, I, I mean, watching Return of the Jedi and, and, and the rest, honestly, it was just, it, it, it stole my heart, honestly. And I mean, who didn't love Luke? I mean, who didn't love Vader? And just, even, just the storyline and just even the music itself, man, it was just, it was so, something different. And that was something that always intrigued me when it came to Star Wars. So honestly, dude, that, that was where it all started for me as a kid, Laserdisc. That's awesome. You know, like, it, it might seem like we don't know each other. We have we actually known each other for a pretty long time, right? Um, too long. I think a little too long, um, but that's actually a good thing, you know. Um, Robert's like a brother to me. We, we grew up together. Um, we really been through thick and thin together, um, you know. We have. We have. Um, Not to get sentimental. Cool. Yeah, and it's pretty cool that, you know, like now we get to share this platform with you guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and just I guess being able, and, and touching on that, we're here to inspire as well, because we have gotten inspired ourselves and touching on what Joel said, we're here to inspire other people that love Star Wars, everything Star Wars content, because at the end of the day, listen, it took us, I mean, we're in our late 20s, but hey, you know, it's never too late. For never sure. Too late. For sure. Um I guess I'm going to go a little bit uh, off a little bit. Uh, who's your favorite character in Star Wars universe in general? Uh, and when, I ask, when I ask that question, it can be... Uh, Let's go with this. Is it canon it, or non-canon or both? 
it could be any, it could be canon, okay. it could be on canon. Um, so, I mean, if you feel like you want to go straight into cartoons, you know, and talk about Clone Wars, I mean, we can go in there too, you know. Uh, but what, where, where, where's, uh, who's, who's, who's the loved one? The loved one, honestly, man, <laughs> I love the story of, I mean, and this is non-canon, even though I do love everything canon, especially Clone Wars, which we will talk about and touch on. But I'm going to have to go off canon right now because just because I love to be that rebel. Get it? Yeah. Rebel. <laughs> I love to be a rebel. Um, I, I love, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, our, her name, his name is Arkin. Arkin, one of the yeah. two twin brothers that were from, if I'm not mistaken, the Old Republic. That's one of my favorite. Um, he's, I would say he's a Jedi or a gray Jedi. One, mm -hmm. Either one of the two. But he's one of my favorite. And just because if you look at his lightsaber, it's very unique. And that's what took me away. And honestly, the story on the two brothers and how he ended up killing his brother to become something more than what he was. And I thought to me, that was just something that always kind of like took me away, even though we don't have too much content and story on it. Yeah, he's one of my favorite, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll, we'll get that. I, I, oh. I don't, I do not believe that, you know, uh, Dave Filoni and all these different writers out there are just going to bring out a character like that that's so strong um, yeah. and then not add any any con no more content to him. Um, oh, no, hands down. Hands again, down. again, it does depend on what Disney wants to do at the end of the day. So Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah it, it is. Every, everything does go through Disney, unfortunately, before anything. But, I mean, they, they I mean, well, I can't say they've done a great job, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later on. Yeah, for so, sure. Oh, well, they have, other than, other than the TV shows, the TV shows, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm loving all the new future content, by the way. That's yes, before about. we get into that, before Amazing. we get into that, I'm yeah. going to hold you to it. I got to yeah. ask you, kind of like what you asked me, but I need to ask you this. Are you a Sith, Jedi, Squadron, or a clone guy? Meaning Oof. from the Clone Wars. So, yeah, take it Oof. away. Um, I guess it depends the day. Um, yeah, it depends on the day, you know, you wake up one morning and you're feeling strong like the Sith. Um, and then there's some mornings you wake up and you're like, you're super mellow, like a, you know, like a Jedi, you just want to like, make sure you're able to mind read people, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but uh, no, no, I, I, I honestly see myself as uh, more of a Jedi, um, okay. eager to learn, eager to grow. Um, and listen, there there can be Sith people, and it doesn't mean you're a bad person. In no, this world, I, 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 in this world, this world. I don't know about that. Let's let's really let's really take that back. But yeah, uh, no, no. I, I I personally see myself that way. Um, I find my connections really strong with uh, bad ones. Um, I would say that as well. But I I was hoping that pun didn't have to come have to come right. up. <laughs> Thanks for it though. Um, no problem. But no, no, I, I do see myself um, connecting with a lot of the pad ones, and uh, uh, and Ahsoka is one of my favorite one of my favorite characters right now. Um, I, I think was, that I, I think I right think now she's yeah, literally. Bro. That's everybody's right now. Um, but uh, um, it was Vader for a long time, and it, and of course, you know, Anakin and, and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, we but, um, with that. I mean, in reality, that was our time when we were kids. It was Anakin and and learning about Vader after. Well, we didn't really get too much Vader. No, we we had more of the Vader. Anakin. But now, we get now. We get more Vader now. Now, yeah, you get more Vader now. Yes, yeah, especially yeah. with the Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I, th I think that's where I find myself. That's where I find my love for what is Star Wars. And you know, um, I find myself being the youngest out of three brothers. Me, personally speaking, uh, wanting to grow all the time and be better than them. Um, so always learning from somebody that is better than me, which puts me in that same category as a pad one. You know, um, that's why, yeah. And, and I think that's, <laughs> I think that's big time for me. So like, um, yeah. I just think that personally where I find myself, where I put myself. Um, mm. So I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm a light side guy. There we go. They, you heard it guys. Live yeah. yourself. Yeah, right I'm here, Joel's the light side guy. Yeah, I'm the light side guy for now. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's but um, uh, I, I guess um, one of the questions that I have for you is um, talking about the new content that's coming out, you know? Yeah, let's dive um, right into it, sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what are you most excited for? 
you know, I'm honestly intrigued by this Starlight. If I'm not mistaken, Starlight Beacon. I'm really intrigued by that and how okay. it's a Jedi temple. Yeah, I think it's something really interesting because I think about it, you know, we're always thinking about, you know, a, a Jedi temple being in a planet, you know, going there and you have to travel all these miles, light years away. And, you know, you go into the planet, you got to get there. And now it's so easy. You just kind of like you're in space, hyperspeed. And you're just there. You're there. And it's right there. And I think that's so cool. And I'm and it, you know, we'll get in some more, but yeah, what's your thoughts on it now? I mean, I think it's pretty cool, but yeah, what are the no, I mean, there's so many new shows that are gonna be so cool. Um yeah. and or um the Ahsoka show. You know, you know that's where I'm I'm headed. Uh yeah, Rod- yeah. Rod- 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 Dawson did an amazing job. Rosario Dawson. Hey, Dawson yeah, yeah, she did she did she did an amazing job. For one um, episode, she killed it. And, and not, and it's just in general, you know, like even be able to see the behind the scenes and see how hard she worked to just take that role and really, really be in that role was amazing. Um, yeah, the Obi wan the Obi wan show. I mean, I think everybody's really, really, really I, <laughs> focused I really on that show right now. Show. Yeah, I'm excited um, for that show. That's like wow. And then the fact that now they're talking about we're gonna get. What is it? Uh, uh, an Anakin? I think we're getting a Vader and uh, we're getting an a Vader and Obi Wan fight, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. So it's from what they are telling us, um, and from what we know right now, uh, thank yeah. you, Reddit. Um, yeah, right. But no, <laughs> but no. Uh, from what we know right now, it looks like uh, we're gonna get the fight of the century or the fight of of you know whatever the, whatever they're saying right now. But it's gonna be like supposedly like one of the craziest fights we're gonna see against them. Um, Hopefully it is, and it's not, you know, so much hype behind it, and then it's nothing. But, um, yeah. you know, it, I mean, there was so much hype behind um, uh, Mandalorian in this season, and although it was an amazing, uh, an amazing uh, s- season, um, you know, we just, there were some things that fell, and we'll talk about that in other episodes, but um, there are some things that I felt like, they hyped it so much and it, it didn't it didn't deliver but but at the end of the day it was maybe that one character that didn't deliver in some scenes and other characters that did um, yeah I, and, but, and i agree and I, and I agree to that because i i think a lot of fans i mean i think a lot of fans from what i've seen i mean we're expecting more even though i i think even though kind of like what you said it hit on you hit on some lows but i think like you had some highs you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying and I think them bringing kind of Rosario Dawson, I think that was the hype, like leaning towards it, you know? So I think that was, and especially with Luke at the end, that's a whole nother ball game. But yeah, that, yeah. that was really good. So that was really good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I, I think there's going to be so many new, so much new content. And honestly, I try to stay away from learning uh, too much about it so that I can really be like surprised by it. Yeah. Uh, See, it's one, just one, so hard. So hard for, for our fans that as we grow and you know god willingly we do get fans um i will <laughs> say that this guy right here really is not into spoilers i have to say he does not like to know anything before it happens see i love to know everything before it happens and this guy just he'll wait he'll wait till the day of i mean and i'll, I'll wait till the, uh, just like i waited for my baby to be born to know the gender i can wait this yeah you see i couldn't uh, wait for that i couldn't <laughs> wait for that when my daughter was born i could not wait i needed to know the moment and time and place and everything yeah so i mean let's talk about the other the other shows you know uh the bad batch uh we have visions we have acolyte you know we're gonna see uh horror you're gonna see a horror side of, of star wars uh lando um i don't know about the droid story we're still trying to figure that out what that's I, I, gonna be about what's but the, hopefully what, it is What's the one, um, something, the range, something ranger. Um, um, yeah, that is, uh, I think it's, uh, uh rangers of the new Republic. Yes. I'm yes. I'm excited for that. Yeah. I'm I mean, really excited for that. I'm, I'm not as excited for that as I am for like the bad batch or yeah. Ahsoka or, uh, uh, even, a- even, even acolyte, like that's, that's probably one of, one of them that I'm definitely going to like be into. Um, yeah. Just to see a dark, gritty um, type of uh, type of show, or yeah, Star Wars universe uh, yeah. or galaxy, you know. Um, but uh, what what really is cool right now um, is is the fact that they're introducing that in the High Republic books as well. So um, let's not jump into that. But um, 
yeah, I think one of my favorite shows that I'm going to be really, really looking into is um, uh, Obi Wan. Um, yeah, Obi Wan definitely. The, the Bad Batch and Ahsoka. I think those are going to be really, really good. the top three. Yeah, I would say. I mean, and and even Man- well, I know Mandalorian is coming back. I think for another season. They're saying, well, they signed for a few more, right? Or no? I think it was five. Yeah, I think from the last time I think that I read, they signed for five seasons, but they're waiting for the season three of The Mandalorian until after Ahsoka, after Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, then they're going to show it. So, Now, do we think, and you guys can comment down below, do you guys think... Like and subscribe. That, yeah. Um, but no, seriously, if you guys can really, if you guys really think that season three is going to be actually the book of Boba, because they didn't tell us when we were getting it. And right now it looks like season three might be the book of Boba. So we might see more Boba than we see actually the Mandalorian. Yeah, I mean, and, and that would kind of make sense because it kind of, st- you know, it's still a, a tale of a Mandalorian. Well, a clone Mandalorian, <sighs> yeah. You know, but still, I think I think they're still going to give him a season. I think they are. I don't, th- I think, I don't think you're going to see too much of the Mandalorian and Boba Fett, but I think you'll still see him. But I still think they're going to give it their own thing, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with that. I mean, it's pretty exciting. I, I mean, that's a whole, that, that, I'm actually excited for that too. The, the, the book of Boba Fett, that's supposed to be really good. It looks like it's going to be good. Well, we, we don't know until they finally announce and tell us a little bit about it or give us a trailer this year. Um, yeah. And it kind of, it kind of sucks. The fact that they're not telling us too much, but I mean, they I didn't, t- they didn't tell us, they didn't tell us about Star Grogu. Wars. They didn't tell us about Grogu. Exactly. <laughs> Star Wars for you. That's Disney, man. Wait till the last second. Wait till the week before to show a trailer. You know, for why sure. not? For sure. You know, so. um, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we, we, we did jump around in, in this video and did tell, did tell you guys a couple of things that we're excited for and, you know, what, yeah. we're, what we're waiting for this year. But a lot of our content is going to be about us just having either debates with each other oh. um, um, or that either we just, or, or even just talking about stuff that excites us. So, yeah. um, we, I, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to partner up with one of my closest and best friends and brothers um, here in, in the world. You know, I'm excited to do that and share that with you guys out there. Yeah, same here. I mean, we want to thank you guys for watching, you know, just as, as we say, you know, watch our, our video and, and we hope you guys like it, you know, subscribe, you know, and, and that's pretty much it, man. We're, this is everything Star Wars content. What two friends do for a living, man. This is it right here. This is the moment that we live for. You know, our <laughs> wives are sleeping or playing video <laughs> games. Our kids are sleeping, you know. So this is what makes it all the fun when you have two friends. And we're not in the same state. FYI, not in the same state. We're actually pretty far apart right now. So it goes yeah. to show you the connection we have and that the force is strong with us. The force is so, strong. So, um, guys, we want to let you uh, Decide for yourself and subscribe to our channel and like this, like this video right here, and uh, get uh, get ready for some more Star Wars content. Right? We'll see you guys. Thank you. Yes, for, we will thank be, you for joining. Take care, guys. Have a good one. We will be talking about the High Republic next video. Bye, guys.